the primes begin two, three, not four, because four is two times two, but five, not six, because as we explained earlier, it's two times three, seven, then a bit of a gap, 11, 13, 17, 19, and off we go. How far can we go? Where do we stop on the way? Time to answer all that and more in this little primer on primes. Now, perhaps you've already had a question about my list of the prime numbers, two, three, five, and so on. But Adam, you may well be asking, why does this list begin at two? Why does your definition only apply for counting numbers two and above? What about the number one, which can be written as one times one, and in no other way, isn't one a prime number? Well, that's a fantastic question that I've just asked on your behalf. If you're confused as to why one isn't prime, you wouldn't be alone. Throughout history, there have been many great mathematicians who considered one a prime number. In fact, if you go back far enough, in many cases, one wasn't even considered a number.